How's it going, beer runners? Over the last two months, my wife and I tasted our way through a variety 24 pack of different treehouse beers. We have finally finished compiling all of that footage. So without further ado, I bring you our taste test and ranking of 24 different treehouse brewery beers. How's it going, beer runners? As I mentioned a couple of months ago, my wife and I ventured up to Massachusetts to visit the Treehouse Brewing Company. If you are unfamiliar with Treehouse, they are what used to be a very small brewery that has now since expanded, but still an incredibly, incredibly highly demanded beer. You can only get their beer on site. They do not distribute anywhere. So we decided to pick a day, make a road trip up to Massachusetts to pick us up a variety pack of some different Treehouse beers. It was a delicate balance of not wanting to sprint through all of the beers right when we brought them home. Home, but also understanding that you want to enjoy the beer fresh. So as I mentioned, we tried to get through them somewhat quickly. It ended up taking about a month or two to get through all of them. I feel like it's only fitting that we finally have all the footage put together and ready to reveal now that it's dry January. So I'll be living vicariously through my past self enjoying these beers. I feel like it's important for me to establish what a production it is to go to Treehouse Brewing Company and pick up their beers because of COVID protocols. They are not allowing any drinking on site. So they are back to only being able to show up to pick up beer to take home with you. So this was about a six hour round trip journey for us. We wanted to make sure it was worth it. And as I said, it certainly was a production. Basically the way the process works is nine o'clock before they open, nine o'clock in the morning, they release, here's everything that we have for the day. You can log into their online store and quick try to grab stuff while it's available. And when I say try to grab stuff while it's available, I mean, as you're scrolling through the list of beer that's available, you'll all of a sudden just start seeing counters pop up. Only two left, only one left, handful left of these. Um, there was even a moment where I put something in my cart and by the time I got to the checkout, it had already sold out. So to say it is a little bit stressful is an understatement. Also, you add that stress to the fact that A, my wife and I were already on routes. So I was doing this from my phone as opposed to on a computer. And I was also picking up beer for a friend of mine as well, so trying to coordinate with him via text. Needless to say, it was a high stress situation. I was worried we were gonna run out of the beers that we wanted, but luckily we were able to coordinate. It took some time. Some of the things that we wanted did run out, um, but I ended up snagging a 24 pack of variety beers, as well as just a couple standalone four packs of some of their staple beers and picked up a case of 24 for my friend as well. So it was awesome. I love Treehouse Brewery. It was great to get there again. Haven't been there in quite some time. I really just can't wait to go back once the facility is open and we can actually enjoy spending a day at the brewery, but still incredible beers and I hope you enjoy my tasting my way through the 24 unique beers that we decided to pick up that day. All right, so we are kicking off the tasting with Julius from Treehouse, the flagship beer. This is also, I think, one of the only, if not the only beers from the batch that I've actually tried before. One of the key things with Treehouse beers specifically, I feel like, is all of their beers are just so fresh. Evenly for me and the wifey. Cheers, my lady. Cheers. Julius. To Julius. That smells very fruity. It smells very good. Real citrusy. It's so good. It's, it's really just good. as good as I remember. It's almost like orange juicy. I want to try to come up with a rating system for all these so that I can rank them, but it's going to be relatively arbitrary. So I'm going to try to go one out of 10. This is a classic. Um, I'm going to go with an eight point five because I'm say I want to save the 10 if something like blows me away but this is really good so 8.5 for the Julius really good we'll see how the rest of them shake out next up we have juice project uh, which is their series of dry hopped double IPAs this one specifically is with citra and amarillo hops even out these pores clinky clinky cheers my dear cheers smells incredible it's like a, it's like a little funky it's fruity but it's got like that funky hop smell makes your nose tickle <laughs> oh it's good it's not super bitter it's mm. not like especially for a double ipa with like when they talk about the hops it's not super bitter it's very floral and fruity. that's not bitter at all i'm gonna give this one just a flat eight back with the second rendition of juice project this is with citra and strata hops so citra hops again for same as the one that we had yesterday um, Strat is the new one, so I'll be interested to see how that tastes different than the Amarillo. Big fan of the can designs at Treehouse, though. I mean, just look at that. It's just so fun. So many colors. <laughs> My wife. Thank okay. you. Roast. This also has that funky smell. Mm -hmm. 
much more almost fruity or citrusy mm -hmm. than yesterday. It's so good. It's just so refreshing. There's very little bitterness. I'll give this one an 825 again, right up there um, with Julius. Tonight we got King Julius. This is supposed to be an amplified version of their flagship Julius double IPA. Basically, like I said, amplified, but it's supposed to be not over the top. Cheers. I just love the smell of the hops that they use. I think part of it is just like with how fresh the beer is, but it all just smells so good. This is really good, but it's not, it's still like, I think Julius is still my favorite of the ones that I've tried. And again, we've learned that nostalgia plays a large role in my opinion of beer. I don't remember. 8.5, we're going with it. Locked in. Tonight we are going with Trick. There is no information on the can about the beer. Just some fun words from the brewery. So we'll have to see how this bad boy tastes. Cheers. Crust. Ooh. That smells good. That That's smells very, very good. Orangey. Not quite as juicy, but like the orange rindy bitterness. Give this one 875. Next up we have Harmony, a rare single IPA from Treehouse. Inspired by New Zealand, I think is what it said on the label. With notes of gooseberry, white wine, kiwi, and rice apricot. It smells whiny. Mm -hmm. A little malty. That's much different than the rest of their beers. It still has like the subtle aftertaste Ooh. of some of their other, like the juiciness, but it's a very subtle aftertaste. Most of it is like- I almost got like, like a spice. I was gonna say white winey. I don't know what gooseberry is supposed to taste like. That's pretty good though. That's really refreshing. I'll give it an eight. Give it an eight. Solid. This is good. This is, a lot of their IPAs I feel like are much heavier. You can't have a lot of them. This is much more drinkable for sure. We had, the Harmony, you'll notice very similar can in the Tranquility. Same style, same flavor notes, gooseberry, white wine, all that good stuff, but this is the double IPA version. Cheers. This smells a lot more like one of their other double IPAs. Their beer is so good. It's a lot fruitier, not overpowering. It's actually really smooth. I'm gonna give this one a 925. That's wow. really good. That's tasty. Cheers. I like it a lot. Cheers. Next up. Haze, which they describe as their hop saturated double IPA. Passion fruit, fresh peach. I lied about the passion fruit. Fresh peach, <laughs> papaya, and orange juice, offset by gentle bitterness. So, clinky, clinky. Crust. Ooh. Smells like orange juice. All their beers smell remarkably similar, it's just varying levels of funkiness. It's more bitter than a lot of their beers, for sure. That tastes it's not overpowering. It's not like a punch you in the mouth bitter, but it is like a. It's much that like orange rindy say, bitterness that you get from fresh squeezed orange juice, or if you like, you literally just bit directly into the peel. It tastes like an orange. That's the kind of bitterness that you get here. That's really good though. I like that a lot. Um, I'll give it a eight seven five. Next up, Beginner's Mind, another double IPA, American and Australian hops with a promise of being extremely tropical in flavor. Beginner's Mind also describes a mindset is what they say. No hesitation, just excitement and newness. Cheers. Cheers. Clinky, clinky. Ooh, it smells very fruity. It has like that distinct treehouse smell, but has a lot more like fruitful undertones. I like that. It's more, almost like malt, it's maltier than a lot of their beers. It's not as like hop forward which is not what I was expecting. It's got the subtle bitterness, a little bit of fruitiness, but I get a lot more like the malt and the wheat in that than I do the, the fruitiness. I'll go just a flat eight on that. Big fan of this can. Ghost Emoji is this beer. And we did test it out. The can does glow in the dark. I feel like I'm saying a lot of similar things over and over again in these, but it's fruit forward. And they promised that they went light on the hops so that the fruitiness comes through without the woody bitterness of over hopping. We'll see how that comes out. Cheers. It is sweeter. It's sweet, not like sugary sweet, but fruity, fruity sweet. Honeydew or fresh melon on a hot summer day. This is very refreshing. I'll give this one a, a 9.5. 
I really like this one. It's not overpowering. It's like the right amount of sweet, the right amount of juiciness. It's very delicious. I like it a lot. We got a sweet can today. Curiosity 105, brewed with a combination of galaxy hops and citra hops. I know I like citra hops. I'm pretty sure I like galaxy hops, so I'm very excited for this. Cheers, clinky clinky. Prost. This has like that funkiness mm. that I've talked about, but a lot of like pineapple juice. Mm. I like that. This is maybe the best one we've had. Definitely pineapple-y. I'm gonna go 9.5 on that one. That's really good. We've got one of the original Treehouse beers today. Very green, supposedly pouring with a meringue-like head. Oh, I can already smell that. It smells really good. Cheers. Mm. It smells sweeter, like fruitier than a lot of the ones we've had in the past. It's like malt first and then the bitterness of the hops afterwards, but this, I'm ranking this up here with one of my favorites. I'm gonna say 9.5. I'm gonna go 9.5 with this one, it's really good. Yesterday we had the very green, tonight we just have green. Cheers. Ooh, that smells tropical. Pineapple, maybe some guava or passion fruit in there. Very similar to the one we had last night, which makes sense for the name. I'm assuming they're using a lot of the same ingredients, but like a lighter, lighter version of that. I'll give this 925. This is really good. I like it, very refreshing. Tonight we're going with iridescent. So I think I talked about how good this was in a previous video, but you all haven't seen it yet. Peach puree, guava puree, and coconut. Clinky, clinky. Cheers. It smells very bright. Like, I don't know, I don't know how else to describe it. It just smells very summery. And it just tastes so good. It's a lot of orange. I feel like orange and guava combined just makes like such a, it, the guava takes some of the edge off of the bite of the citrus of the orange. Mm, I'm going to give this one a 975. This wow. This is, I think, my favorite so far in the batch. Iridescent. Way to go. Next up, we have a rare American pale ale from Treehouse. This is Dave, the pale ale. Sounds like from reading the description, this is a nice series of beers Treehouse, Treehouse put together to highlight all the hard work their staff is putting into putting together these delicious beers during such a tough time for everyone. But that's, you smell it. Very great fruity smell. This is very, very refreshing and it's not overly bitter, but this is great for just like, especially if it's a hot day, definitely crushable. I'll give this an eight, five. Tonight we have Bright. This is one I'm actually really looking forward to. Brewed with Simcoe and Amarillo hops. Not nearly as hazy as their other beers. Clinky, clinky. It smells like a delicious IPA. Citrusy, piney, not as juicy. That's very different than a lot of their beers. It's very refreshing. It's not nearly as heavy. Slightly fruity, but not juicy. I'll go ahead and give this one flat eight. Eight out of 10. Tonight we've got b -b 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 bright I assume that's how you pronounce it with all the extra B's. Should be good. 7.5%. Double IPA. Shout out to Zillion Beers for the dope Christmas sweatshirt. It's another pretty clear one. That was aggressive, Ryan. <laughs> it's not very potent. Not very potent. Ooh, I don't know what to... Like how to describe that. It's almost like a like a cotton candy kind of flavor. Not sweet like cotton candy, but that almost like tackiness. It's not what I was expecting at all. Especially I think we've said in the past, like so many of their beers, they're so similar and this is markedly different. I'm just gonna give this one a seven five, I think. Next up, very excited for this one. Force of Will, drawing on the hyper-focus imparted by our current circumstances. I'm pretty excited for this one. It's supposed to have some pretty intense flavors. Heavy citrus notes, peach nectar, mango puree, and pineapple juice. Trust. Clinky, clinky. Cheers. This smells really good. So yeah, it smells a lot like that typical kind of like funkiness out of a treehouse, but a lot fruitier, a lot juicier on the nose. That's really good. I feel like I say that as soon as I have every sip. <laughs> mm, that's really good. The fruitiness, like the juiciness, is very smooth and like takes the bite out of the hops, if that makes sense. It's bitter on the back end, like you still get the bitterness from the hops, but what you get first is really the juiciness of that beer. That's phenomenal, that's very refreshing. It does not taste as heavy as a double IPA or as like powerful as a double IPA, it's just a super refreshing beer. I think I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. Tonight we've got Fruit Project. You may recognize this mad scientist. 
from the Juice Project beers we had earlier. Similar idea, same hop combination as the Juice Projects. A lot more fruit forward. Passion fruit, peach puree, guava, pineapple, notes of banana. I'm very excited for this. It's a double IPA. Love the guava. Cheers. It doesn't smell super sweet. Mostly like the, the funkiness of the hops. This is incredible. It's definitely, it's very fruity. Definitely banana, pine, banana, pineapple, a little bit of the guava. I'm gonna give this one nine out of 10, but it's really good. As appropriate, today we've got Perfect Storm. We just had our first winter storm of the year. This is their most heavily hopped beer. That smells like, almost like Ooh. just straight orange juice. Cheers. Prost. This is another one that's going up there as one of my favorites. It is, I said it smells like orange juice. It tastes very orangey, very citrusy, probably the citra hops, but it, you get like the maltiness of the body. They mentioned beefing up the body of the beer to compete with the hops. You get that hot bitterness, that fruity, that sweet hot flavor right away. And then it mellows out as you get kind of that malty finish on the beer. Big, big fan of this. Uh, I'm going with, I'll go nine five on this one. This one's really good. Wow. I like it a lot. Next up we have Autumn, another one I'm really excited about. Tropical, fruity punch from the hot flavors on top of an oaty body. Clinky, clinky. Cheers. It's very subtle. That's very unique um, compared to their, a, lot, a lot of their beers. It's a double IPA. It almost tastes like a Pilsner. You definitely get like the oatiness of the beer on the back end, but it's like you get the crisp bite like you would in a Pilsner, not what you would expect from an IPA, like a very subtle kind of hot bitterness. Weird that that's what this tastes like given that it's a double IPA, but very good, very crisp, very refreshing, um, but just not wowing me. So I'll go, uh, I'm gonna go seven and a half on this one. Eight, I'll go eight, be fair. Cheers. Tonight's can, Alter Ego. I'm not sure if there's just a regular Alter Ego. I know they have a couple beers like that where they make some changes and then Add some vowels to the name. Cheers. Pressed. It's real subtle. I'm surprised. I feel like I got a burst right when I opened the can, but it doesn't smell as strong as I was expecting. It doesn't pack as much of a punch as some of their other beers. Just a little fruity, a little malty on the finish. Not too bad at all. Um, very, very refreshing. I like this a lot. I'm going to give it 8.5. Today's beer, Fall Classic. Tropical fruit flavors from the hops as well as earthy pine. Um, so as far as the description is concerned, that sounds freaking delicious. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Smells good. Smells. It's an American IPA. Pretty fruity, not much pine. It's pretty good. It's not, uh, it's not overpowering. You get like the citrus, the tropical fruitiness first, and then it kind of like mellows out with that earthy flavor. Really good though. I like it. I think I'm going to go eight, seven. That's really good. I like it. We're almost done. Today we've got Days. This is a single IPA version of one of their flagship double IPAs, Haze. So just lower alcohol content, but same flavors. Very excited to give this a try. Fruit flavored, like with a lot of their beers, um, or with especially with their hazier IPAs. So we've got orange juice, apricot, and peach. Clinky, clinky. It smells awesome. It smells like orange juice. Real fruity, a little bit of bitterness on the end, but not a lot. And it's not overpoweringly sweet. I like what they've done with the renditions of like their lower alcohol versions of some of their traditional beers. A lot easier to drink like this. I could have more of where some of their doubles are a little bit um, heavier, a little bit harder to go back to back to back. I do wish there was just a little bit more sweetness to it, I think, but still going to give it, uh, I'll go 7.75. <laughs> Pretty good. 7.8. Let's give it a 7.8. <laughs> Pretty good though, really delicious, very refreshing, a much easier drink than some of their other beers. Last one, I'm actually very excited that we saved this one for last, this is on the fly, just happened to be the last one that we have left, but it is an amalgamation between their very hazy and their very green IPA. So I said I'm excited for this one as the last one because I feel like it'll be a good kind of representation of the typical treehouse flavor. Uh, very fruit forward, cheers. Yeah, it smells very, like has like the treehouse funk. It has that fruity aroma. It says, enjoy this while dreaming of summer. So perfect time right here at the new year, getting ready to hopefully start preparing for warmer months once we get through this bitter winter. That smells awesome. And it's so smooth. It's another one that almost has like a, I mean, I've had some other beers today, so maybe the flavor's a little bit muted, but almost like a Pilsner, what I would expect, like the bitterness of a Pilsner 
not overly hoppy, but just crisp, but then with those fruity undertones as well. Really, really good, smooth double IPA. Um, finishing on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5. Just a little fruity, a little ma, a little fruity, a little. <laughs> it smells. <laughs> God damn it. We'll clink again. Ready? Clinky, clinky. <laughs> I can't do it. Why? <laughs> I'm just laughing. Okay, I'll put my head down. Ready?